It is the 19th of the 12th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and start on SOT.net. At least 50,000 children caught up in Philippines flooding. Uh, at least 50,000 children have been caught up in the flooding in the Philippines, Save the Children estimates, after hundreds of people were swept to their deaths by an enormous cyclone. Two days after torrential rains triggered some of the worst flooding ever seen in the country, some areas are still cut off by damage and debris, hampering relief efforts and promoting fears for families trapped without enough food and clean water. Uh, Save the Children is particularly concerned that children may have been separated from their families during the floods, leaving them especially vulnerable. Save the Children, Anna, blah blah, in the Philippines said. And, uh, insanity. And two, two entire villages were swept out to sea by this storm. Um, that's about all new they have tonight. Over to the extinction protocol. The only thing I really want to cover is South Korea goes on high alert on news that Kim Jong-il's death in North Korea. North Korean leader Kim Jong-il has died at the age of 69, state-run television has announced. Mr. Kim, who led the communist nation since his death, since the death of his father in 1994, died on a train while visiting an outside, an area outside the capital. The announcement said he suffered a stroke in 2008 and was absent from public view for months. His designated successor is believed to be his third son, Kim Jong Woon, who is thought to be in his late 20s. The BBC. Uh, in Seoul says, Mr. Kim's death will cause a huge shockwave across North Korea. The announcement came in an emotional statement read out on national television. The announcer, wearing black, said he had died of physical and mental overwork. South Korea says its military has been put on alert following the announcement and its National Security Council is conveying for an emergency meeting. No telling. Well, they've got a story, Mount Shasta Lassen Peak ready to erupt, question mark. County's plans to provide no specifics on evacuations. And basically, um, they're saying um, there's a one in four chance that this volcano could erupt in our lifetime. Um, and uh, they are setting, spending the money to put things in place uh, to deal with that. And that's about all new they have going on. They've got a couple fear pieces about uh, the end of the world and the national disasters and all that. Um, I found this one on um, Geology News. Now, uh, basically, it's a Russian searching for 49 rescuers searching for 49 Russians in freezing remote waters after an oil platform capsizes. Uh, four confirmed dead. And uh, basically, thank goodness this, this rig was not hooked up. It was being transported uh, from off the coast, a couple hundred kilometers off the coast of Russia, eastern Russia, to Vietnam, and it sank in heavy weather. And they said it sank so fast that uh, they couldn't get to the boats, and they found uh, uh, the emergency suits just floating around with nobody in them. So uh, no telling what's going on with that. Over to the Ice Age now, we got a blizzard watch for the Southwest and Plains. Blizzard watch is in effect till Tuesday for parts of Colorado, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. Uh, another store, blizzard warning for Texas and Oklahoma panhandles. Uh, up to 18 inches of snow for New Mexico. And uh, Iceland, Hengill is busy today, and that's a volcano in Iceland that erupted uh, about 1900 years ago. Um, it's continuing to have the earthquake swarms. I know I mentioned this a couple weeks ago. Um, ongoing situation that is Iceland. Big storms in the Alps, of course. Uh, quote, I've rarely seen so much snow on the roofs in the Alps. It's more like Yellowstone National Park, uh, says a reader. And then they've got the methane release fountain story more than a half mile across erupt from the Arctic Ocean, and that's where the Russians found all this methane uh, leaking, which was once underneath sea ice. Over to the RSOE, of course, they've got the tropical storm in the Philippines and all the madness that entails. Uh, big cold wave in India, multi-states. Uh, it's pretty far spread. 
Um, state of Queensland, Gordon Brook Dam's got a green algae alert going out. Uh, in Brazil, we have another oil rig leak, this time in the Bay of Ilha Grande. And uh, they're saying this is a pristine bay, and I forget the name of the company, um, it's not familiar. And uh, they are going to find the crap out of them. Uh, they're basically saying they shut down Chevron because of their oil spill out in the Atlantic Ocean. Um, they're due to be fined several billion dollars, and if they don't stop, they're going to be fined like $277 million a day until they do. And I hear that flood, that leak is still ongoing. Flash flooding in Australia, state of Victoria, um, Stawell, ongoing situation that is Australia. Uh, coal mine explosion in China. And uh, the stories coming out of Germany and France as far as the big storm that just rolled through there. Uh, we have a volcano eruption in Indonesia, Mount Gamalama. Um, erupted, spewing thick ash all over the place, and they actually reported seeing lava coming down the side of the cone. Uh, this is one of, I believe, 65 or 69 volcanoes they consider dangerous out of like 150 volcanoes they have in the area um, that are on alert. Just ongoing um, on the Ring of Fire. And that's about all new they have tonight, climate-wise. Let's go ahead and go over to the nuclear stuff. I got a story. Strange growth discovered on spent fuel could be biological in nature. White string-like material resembles a spider web. Now this is out of um, Savannah. What's the name of it? Hold on a second. Savannah River site um, are working to identify a strange growth found on the racks of spent nuclear fuel collected from foreign governments and um, they're saying this is underwater and it seems like there's some strange web-like material and they're not quite sure what it is uh, very highly radioactive of course and they're saying if this is biological this could have ramifications as far as uh, life being able to exist just about anywhere and of course I will attach a link to that Saturday Night Live mocks Fukushima shows radioactive monkeys replacing Godzilla. Uh, apparently the, um, the Japanese got a bright idea of uh, putting radio, um, Geiger counter detectors or radiation detectors on wild monkeys in the exclusion zone um, to test the radiation that levels that they are um, going to. Um, Saturday Night Live made a quick joke about that. Uh, I don't find it very tasteful, but uh, whatever. At least they're bringing attention to the radioactive continuing problem in Fukushima. Ex-Fukushima worker TEPCO to open a hole in reactor number two containment vessel by the year's end. And this guy's got a long interview and this is the same guy that's uh, he's basically a whistleblower. Japan author claims medical workers said malformed babies are being declared as stillbirths or miscarriages not included in statistics and you gotta remember this is nine months after the uh, the accidents and uh, the babies are starting to be born uh, they are covering up the effects of this radiation on the general public of Japan um, Western Canada and the Western United States um, we can only plan on more events like this to come and of course they are covering up what they can Japanese refugees in New Zealand Family's health suffering, diarrhea, chest problems, swollen glands. Quote, many of our friends and family back in Fukushima have similar symptoms. Not surprising whatsoever. A whistleblower on MSNBC, criticality possible at Hanford. We could end up with an explosion like Fukushima. Warns of, warns of larger release of radioactive material. And they have a video involved with that. LA Times, people are just learning that the government may be telling fairy tales, says Japan broadcaster. Radi radiation levels around Fukushima almost beyond calculation. And they declared cold shutdown. Chernobyl reporters never saw anything like it. 
And that's about all new I have tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Uh, enjoy while you can every day, people. Just remember to laugh and have fun and uh, enjoy the people around you. Be the love you want to see in the world. I'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody.